Got a few deer in the area. When you go out to where the hunter's going to be. Yeah. Alright, the roads, the... If there's nothing to build, the builders will get the roads going. If we have stuff to build, they will leave the roads till later. Now let's have a look. We've got a lot of food. We're not putting anything else in the storage cart, thankfully. That's good, because we want to get rid of that, of course. We can get rid of that. We can demolish it. All the resources will be frozen until we get around to demolishing it, though. So we're not going to select demolish just yet. Okay. Fishing dock. Nothing to remove, thankfully. I haven't gone over this yet. We should go over the construction, the actual construction window of the individual items. Remove is remove not just trees, there's a picture of a tree, it is also stones, iron, uh, resources that have been collected like these little piles here of wood. They can be left around just about anywhere, they're not just where they're chopped down. Sometimes your villagers will bring them over and then just put them down for whatever reason. They decide that they're hungry and they want to go get food or something. So you have to clean the, anything up that's in that area first. Next you have generally always resources of logs. N not every time, but more often than not, resources of logs are needed. In this case it's 18 of 30. So your labourers are the ones that will come and put all those in there. After that is stone. In this case it's 16 of 16 that we have filled. So the, the labourers have already brought all the stone we need for the fishing dock. Sometimes you will also have a window of iron being needed. If we go to... Uh, yeah, there we go. The quarry needs 40 iron to be built, but no stone. Which is... probably makes sense, I guess. You're building a quarry because you don't have stone, aren't you? Anyway, after that you have this build window. Now, in the case of the fishing dock, it's 0 of 45. That 45 is more or less a time. It's a... the time it takes your builders to build it. Now, it isn't minutes or seconds or or hours or days or anything like that it's a representation of time it gives you an idea of how much build time is needed on this particular job 45 is actually pretty fast it doesn't take too long to build and it is ready to be built once the foundations are down like that it means all the resources are there ready to go and the builders will come and build it in this case yeah 45 is pretty fast the boarding house that's 150 so it takes much longer to build the boarding house once all the resources are there. Now one other part for the construction window is up the top here. First of all you've got this little part here. This is the number of citizens able to work on it. In this case it's two of two. It's builders. So two builders can work on it. No more. You can reduce that to one. You can't increase it. You also have... Well at the moment we can't click, click on other things but we have the center of view. You can pin it, and you can close the window. This button right here, which is greyed out, shows you the production in that particular building over the last year and the current year. And we can now click on it. At the moment, none last year and none this year, which you'd expect. We also have zero people working here at the moment. This little button here, can't actually zoom in, you're just going to have to believe me. Right here there is a zero and then an up and down. If you click on up, that will assign a labourer as a fisherman. And here, maximum of four can be can be there. I'm going to close that. This window here, you can also assign people. So we're going to go to fisherman over here. And increase it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Just had a bit of a coughing fit I had to stop for. Uh, we've paused. Alright, unpause. Yep, we're going to increase the fishermen. We're going to put four of our labourers. You can see the labourers are going down as we reassign them as fishermen. Food production is a big problem early game. Once you start getting food coming in from a couple of sources, though, I generally have a problem of too much food. For the time being, we're going to be very short on food. So, yeah, we've got the fishermen in there as fast as we possibly could. Trading post is not going up. Or are you? Or are you? What are we building at the moment? Alright, our builders are all on the boarding house. Let's put one more person in the building so we get that boarding house up ASAP. We still need a bit of wood there. We've got everything else though. 
Reserve of logs is low, reserve of stones is low. Alright. Now, the builders, because they can't build anything, they're actually doing the road. That's not too bad. The, the road, it's only a dirt road we've put down at the moment. That will increase the speed that they move around. You can see you've got four fishermen here, all fishing. The food that they produce, if we click here, you can see so far they've produced 40 or 54 fish. They're going to put it into this storage cart right here. We don't want them to. We want that storage barn up as soon as possible. But it's not going to go up before the housing. That's alright. We can live with that. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, our labourers, we're going to have to get rid of some of these builders and get labourers there so they can start to chop down some trees. <coughs> Excuse me. Because we're out of wood. Come on, guys, get the wood going. We're low on stone as well, apparently. That's what that notification was. Where are you, got? Where are you lot going? You're a labourer and you're working. Where are you working? Why are you working so far away? You can chop these trees down. Trust me. You can. Alright, the gatherer's hut over here is fully removed. They've just come over and collected some stone, it looks like. Anything else there? Yeah, they're collecting stone. These two here are the builders. They're... Oh, they're putting it into the... Forester's Lodge. Okay. Oh, I didn't realise I had that still going. Alright, I thought I paused it. But whatever. Apparently we didn't. I can pause it, of course, but... Nah, I'm not going to. We do want it. So we're going to keep going. Hopefully we get a little bit of wood. I just heard some trees fall down. Trees do just fall down over time naturally, and you get nothing for it. However, if we just look in here, there is some logs there, so somebody has just chopped down some trees. Good, good. Four more logs needed. Come on, labourers. Chop, chop. Get to it. Oh, wow. We've got one fish and 683 potatoes. We are running out of food. Thank you for that deposit of fish. That was a fisherman. <coughs> oh, got a bit of a... Bit of a cough happening at the moment. Fishman, fishman delivering fish. Alright, we've got a bit of wood that's going over. We've got Sarin, 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 Sarin. Whatever your name is, you are now a labourer. Thank you. So, start labouring? Yeah. Come on, get some wood in there. <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice. Not good. This is actually... Well, I'm probably going to split this series up. Do a big recording and then just split it up into several episodes. Why not? But, yeah, it's not the first video I have started recording today. So my voice is starting to suffer. I've actually recorded two Minecraft videos. And one of them I forgot to hit record. So that was kind of a waste. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. My voice has taken a hit for it. Alright, just last little bit of wood, guys. Dump it right there. I, there we go. We've got the foundations up. Builders are going to start building. Let's increase the builders because we are into late summer. We need to get shelter for our guys. Now, the storage barn is probably going to be the next thing that they try to build. Which is good because we can start putting food in there and we can stop using this here. 738 food stored at the moment. We want that to always be going up. <clears throat> Obviously you can have a little dip as people go and eat, but we need food to be constantly going in. Now early on, you guys, they have nice clothing, they, they're nice and comfortable, they're healthy, they're young, and they've got tools, which means they work quite fast. Once they lose their tools, once they use them up, <coughs> and if they don't have any more tools to replace them, excuse me, they start to slow down and you start to have trouble keeping up with food. 
Logs is low. We know logs is low. Logs has never been high is the problem. Alright, we get that storage up nice and quick, but we still want our guys to be dropping off all the resources in these areas. The gatherer's hut. Ooh, very close to having a storage barn building. The builders are actually still building the boarding house, though. Gatherer's hut we want next. That produces quite a few different types of food. Roots and berries and mushrooms. Ugh. Onions. Eh, I don't mind onions. I'm not a fan of mushrooms. Actually, it's one of the few... Few foods... Types... or foods... Few... Blah, blah, waddling my merds. One of the few foods... I don't eat. It's mushrooms. Mushrooms and... What we call Devon here in New South Wales. I think it's called bologna elsewhere. Don't touch it. Yuck. Disgusting. Just about anything else I'll eat. I've eaten just about anything else. Alright, I think we should probably go around and place down a few houses. Now, obviously I'd like to have the stone houses, but they use a bit of iron, a lot of stone, and a little, well, a decent amount of wood. The wooden house only used 16 wood and 8 stone. That's hard enough. It's hard enough to find the resources for. Alright, we'll put a house right there. I'm going to turn it off though. We're not going to build it straight away. Um, hmm. Fishermen, they're probably going to want their own house. So we'll put a house there. Good. Probably put a house. Well, how we could probably put another house here. <coughs> there we go. Oh, I'm gonna pause them though. Pause you. They're not priority. Food's priority. We're we're kind of maintaining with the food at the moment, so that's that's good. We've we've got to a safe area. The problem is, as soon as this boarding house is built, within probably a month, we will have three more kids born. And then this fishing dock will no longer be producing enough food for all of us. We will definitely need that gatherer's hut up and operational. Alright, there is a few other things that we can build though. Well, the market, I never really bother with them. I never get to the point that I need them. But a school. Now, school is quite important. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I just can't get this out of my throat. Now we'll whack the school down here. We are not going to build it straight away because all our guys are educated. The students aren't, the kids aren't, the ones that are becoming adults now, but the rest are. What the school does... Oh, boarding house is up and operational. Let's quickly go over the boarding house. All the families are obviously living in the boarding house. It's not family friendly, so we're not going to get too many kids born here, which means that we're going to die out quick. So we do need to move up to houses as quick as possible. But in the first year, a boarding house is very useful. Oh, look at all the food go down. And the firewood. Oh, that's all good, though. It's all good because... If you click on inventory, you can see all that food. 370 or, four, or 500 potato is in the boarding house now. It's no longer in my storage, it's in the boarding house. 179 fish is also in there. So even though we're only showing 42 food, that's 42 food in our cart. We've got plenty in the boarding house. Alright, so yeah, the boarding house, it's its not ideal. I generally use it as a retirement village later on. So I'll kick all the old people out of the houses and put young people in there. That way the, the families live in the houses and they continue to breed. Anyway, back to the school. At age 10, so we can see we've got somebody who's 7, probably in the next 12 months they will become an adult. I know it doesn't quite make sense, uh, probably about 3-4 years every year that we go through, they age about 3-4 years. But about 10, oh here we go, we've got a child at 9, very soon that person there, that child, will become an adult. 10 years old, they go and start to work. They're uneducated, so they're quite slow and not very good at their job. So you don't really want them uneducated. <clears throat> the problem with an education 
is at the age of 10, instead of becoming an adult, they become a student. And they stay a student. I don't know, it sort of seems random. Sometimes it'll last until they're 15, and then they go out into the workforce. And there we go, we just had that adult, that child become an adult. Sometimes they will stay a student until they're 21. So that's kind of a wasted villager. They're not actually doing any work for you. They can still, thankfully, breed whilst they're a student. But you don't get any work out of them. It is better in the long run, because obviously they're going to do better work once they are educated. But it kind of feels like a bit of a, a waste until then. Alright, storage barn is up and operational. So we want our fish, hide coats and iron tools out of this cart. Just as we hit autumn. Alright. So once we get a bit more food, hopefully they won't store it in the cart. I think the cart is kind of a... They don't... They try to avoid putting stuff in the cart if they have a, sto a stockpile and a storage barn to put it in. So hopefully we go that way. Because as soon as you start demolishing the storage cart, the items in it you can't use until you finish demolishing it. Alright, what else will we need whilst we're here? The chap we won't need the chapel or the cemetery for a while, hopefully. Cemetery, hmm. Is there anywhere off in the distance we can put you? Cemetery uses one stone per unit of length. So if we put it here, nice big, I think probably 20 by 20 is the maximum size you can do. Yeah, 20 by 20. This is a very big cemetery. Bit overkill really. 76 stone. It will house a lot of dead bodies though. So we're going to not build you though. 76 stone. Wow. A lot of things to be cleared out of there as well. Eventually you want that. If people die of old age, your villagers get very sad. They get very sad, they get upset, and not happy. You don't want that. So you need a cemetery for that. Hopefully we don't have anyone die of old age for a while though. That was just putting it down as a future proofing. The hospital, town hall is actually quite fun to use. And the chapel. We don't really need them just yet. I'll probably put a well right down when the, this here is, to be honest. Uh, anything else that we can put down or sit down in preparation? Ah, the blacksmith. We're going to need the blacksmith very soon, in fact. Let's put it right here. The blacksmith, we're going to pause, but we're going to put it over here because we do want that very soon. Once we've got the gatherer's hut and all that going, we will add the blacksmith. Now, the blacksmith produces tools. It needs iron, however. You need tools to keep your guys working at peak efficiency. So we'll keep that going. Food. Are you put Oh, they're still putting it in there. That's not ideal. Oh, they're putting some into the storage barn as well. Hmm. Once I've got the gatherer's hut going, or up, it's very soon it's going to be ready, then I think I might demolish this here. Gatherers. Give me a couple of gatherers, guys. Three of you. That'll increase the food nicely. Alright. There's a question mark above the gatherer's hut. That'll disappear soon. It's just saying there's no citizens to work there. We've just made three citizens into a gatherers. So they'll slowly trickle in. They've got one. One. Come on. Come on, you other two. Find your work. They're finishing off doing whatever it is they were doing beforehand. Eventually they'll be added to it. Currently, obviously, nothing produced in there. But we'll look back in a little bit. And we'll see quite a few different food types. I haven't gone over it, but a lot of these buildings, they do have buttons along them, such as this one here. If you click on that, it turns it on or off whether or not they actually work. We want them to work. 
Alright, I want to get rid of this. To do that, down here to Destruction Tools, Remove Structure, Remove that structure. Now as soon as I clicked on Demolish, it meant all the resources in there, 5% storage remaining, so it's 5% full, we don't have any use of. So we straight away lost food, tools, and clothing. 